Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about useref hook in React JS. So now let's start with the points of this video. We will learn that why we use a useref hook. Then we will uh, learn useref hook with the example, and in this example, we will just let to get to know that how we can focus on a input element, how we can change the color, get and set values. and even how we can just hide and show a element with the help of useref and at the last i will ask you a question you can attempt this question in comment box if you want i will also provide you the answer of the question that i asked in the previous video and this is my instagram account if you just want to join me there right so first question is why we use useref hook so useref hook is basically used for control and update the dom of your application so let's say uh, you have a input element and you just want to change the color of it or any kind of style right background color color font size and, and uh, everything then you can do it with the useref hook in a functional component then you can get and set the value of uh, an element even you can set the focus also right uh, other things like uh, get and set values color these kind of things can also possible with the states and props but with the state and props you can note focus to a specific uh, input element right i will show you that how this is useful and uh, how we can use it so now let's start with the example this is my output screen and this is my app.js component right so first of all i am just going to make a input and uh, let's say is type of text right so what i actually want basically so i want to uh, change the color and uh, get and set the values uh, of this input element with the help of button right so these thing can also be done with the uh, states and props also so use effect use ref is basically a alternative of it but one thing that you cannot do with the state and props that is focus let's say on a button click you just want to make a focus inside it like this right now you can see that the border of this input box is bold and cursor is blinking here right so i am just going to uh, i am just uh, entering here or uh, uh, putting my mouse here that's why i can just see it but if on a button click i just want to do this functionality i cannot directly do right but with the ref you can do it so now let's learn it so let's make a button also and just right here handle input right and whenever you want to use use ref we must have to import it so just right here use ref like this right and now let's take a let or const define a name to it like a input ref or something and uh, just assign use ref to it right like this and uh, we can just uh, define a null value by default with it and uh, after that what we can do here we can just assign this uh, input ref inside the ref property of this input element right so just right here input ref now input ref can control this element i will show you how i am just going to make a function here so let's say control input and this function i will call on button click like on click and just simply put here uh if we don't need this uh, arrow function we can just directly write uh, right here uh control input this my bad input like this right and uh, we can just define a function like this right so first of all let's see that this is calling or not and just write here hello for a moment right and uh, now on a click now you can see that this function is calling so now what i'm just want to do i want to add some values like uh, abc i want to add abc inside this box on a click right so what i can do here just simply put here input ref dot current dot value let's say abc right and whenever i will click on it 
now you can see that we got a value inside it that's great some uh, styles we can also change here like uh, i just want to uh, change here a uh, color of it so just write here use ref dot current dot style dot color right and let's say color can be red whenever i will just uh, add some text here like this and i will click on it now you can see that the color is changed here right that's the second thing so how we can just hide it so this is again a simple process you can just simply put here style uh, display and I just add here null none to this display and now you can see that this is hidden from here right that's great so the last one thing is add how i can set a focus on it so just simply put here input dot current dot focus like this right and now whenever uh, you will just uh, click on it you can see that we got a focus inside it right so i just uh, remove this focus again whenever i will click on it the focus will be just got inside this input box like this right so this functionality we cannot achieve with the state and props and other things but the other things like uh, color and uh, values we can do it with the state also right so this is the only unique thing that we can just achieve with the wrap so my question is this so should we use uh, most of the time should we use ref or we should use uh, states and props right and in last video i asked that uh, what we can use uh, for uh, update uh, and control the dom inside uh, a functional component the answer is use ref and this is the basically videos topic also right so bye bye for a moment take care and please don't forget to subscribe my channel